Two of the best to ever do it, stepping away. Welcome into sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. The GOAT, Nick Saban, has announced that he is retiring after 17 seasons as the head coach at Alabama. In 28 total seasons as a head coach, Nick Saban won a record seven national championships, six coming with Alabama and one with LSU, passing legendary Alabama head coach Paul Bear Bryant. Saban won 11 SEC championships, nine of which were with Alabama. In 17 seasons at the helm in Tuscaloosa, he saw 44 players drafted in the first round while only losing 29 games. The 72-year-old ending his coaching career with a total of 297 wins and 71 losses, including those at Toledo, Michigan State, and LSU. He never had a losing season. And that's not the only major coaching news of the day, because on the NFL side, Seahawks head coach Pete Carroll is stepping down from his role. Carroll saying in a press conference today that him and Seattle ownership mutually agreed to set a new course. Now, he will be staying with the team in an advisor role. However, this move marking the end of a very successful coaching career for Carroll. In 14 seasons with Seattle, Carroll led the team to playoff appearances in 10 of them, with his best year coming in 2014 when the Seahawks won Super Bowl 48 for their first title in franchise history. Carroll is also one of only three coaches to ever win a Super Bowl and a college national championship. To the basketball court now with the 5-1 Antelope Rams hosting the 2-6 San Luis Sidewinders. First possession of the ball game, Caleb Martinez gets out there with an open three and he nails that one to put Antelope on top early. A few possessions later, Alzale Figueroa to Martinez for three. Once again, Cha-Ching, he's got it again. Three three-pointers for Antelope in their first three possessions. San Luis down seven, Salvador Rodriguez drives to the hoop and gets the layup to go. Later in the first, Rodriguez driving once again, but this time he's swatted away by Keenan Ragels. That big block would lead to a bucket. Shortly after, Alejandro Cordova driving, dishes it inside, and that's Sergio Antaveros finishing it underneath after a lovely backdoor cut. End of the quarter, Ragels back to Martinez. Martinez from deep, and he beats the buzzer. The Rams were fired up about that one. They would go on to win this game 81-60. to The Rams currently in 13th in 1A have a date with number two, North Valley Christian, on Friday. The 0-5 Antelope Lady Rams clash today with the 2-5 San Luis Sidewinders. First quarter, Camilla Picasso gets the steal, and she's going to take this one all the way down by herself to put San Luis up by 18 early. Second quarter now, San Luis up big. Vanessa Ambrose picks off that pass, and she goes coast to coast and lays it off the glass and in. A few possessions later, Brittany Campos feeds inside to Jasmine Estrada, who finishes it in the paint. Sidewinders now up 33. To the third quarter now Antelope with it in the corner. Smart played right here as the Lady Rams threw it off a Sidewinder and it would pay off because on the inbound she would get a bucket for Antelope. A few possessions later Fernando Aranda moving it to Ambrose who knocks down this triple and it was all San Luis in this one. They take it 70 to 10. We also had some hoops action out in the Imperial Valley. Yuma Catholic beat Central. Calipatria lost to Imperial. And that is all we have time for in sports.